So let me introduce Mark Wiertala, one of our networker product managers. So Mark, why don't you go ahead and show us the new DD Boost performance improvements. Thank you, BJ. For today's demonstration, we're going to perform two backups. We'll start with the client system that we'll name 215, and we'll set, set this up to perform a full backup. We're going to select data domain device, and this means that the backup is going to go through a storage node that's running data domain boost. We'll do the deduplication there, and then we'll direct that to a data domain 660 device. I'm going to associate this client with a group named Demo, and we'll use the default schedule. With those settings, let's back out. We'll select Group Demo and start a backup. Before we leave here, um, I'd like to verify that, in fact, we're going to run a full today. So let's go to Schedule. Let's open up Default. And then watch as the 20th comes up, and we can see that we're scheduled for a full today. OK, great. Let's go to Monitoring and just verify that Group Demo has, in fact, started a backup. And you can see that it has. Down below that, under Save Sessions, we can see that Client 215 is, in fact, running a save session. Now, this is our default backup. So this is going to be a client system that's running Red Hat Linux, 30 gigabytes of data, seven files. And we're going to send that full backup through a storage node. The storage node's running data domain boost, so the deduplication process will occur there. And then you can see the green line goes to the data domain device type that's sitting on a DD660. This is going to be a full backup. And of course, we're optimizing the bandwidth of the network between the storage node and the data domain system. Our backup is finished. And I want to open up now the client resource and take a look at Client 215. You can see that we've run a full to a data domain type. And the time is 9 minutes and 26 seconds for 30 gigabytes of data and seven files. Let's go to the second backup now. now I'm going to make one configuration change. And you can see here that I have not yet selected Client Direct. So let's open up the client resource and select the widget for Client Direct. I'll capture that. And by selecting Client Direct, this is going to change the backup. We're going to take the storage node out of the data path, and we're going to do this point to point between the client and the data domain system. I'll select Group, and we'll start a backup. And then quickly, let's go to the monitoring page just to make sure that Group Demo has, in fact, started. And you can see that it has. Now, the second backup, the big change with Client Direct is, in fact, that we're going to take the storage node out of the data path. This backup is going to be point to point from the client system to the data domain device. And we're going to take data domain boost and put that up on the client resource. So deduplication is going to start at the source of data. The net effect here is that the time for backup is going to be reduced, and we are going to optimize the available network, or network bandwidth. Let's check the results of our backup. We can see that it's done. We'll open up the client resource here and see that our backup has, in fact, been a full to a data domain system. But remember our first backup? That was 9 minutes and 26 seconds. This backup is 3 minutes and 20 seconds. And for the same 30 gigabytes of data, the seven same seven files. So this represents a full two-thirds reduction in backup time and also demonstrates the value of client direct. Back to you guys.